Hello, Dr. Horn. I'm sure it's kind of strange to see me without a mask, but nonetheless, um, I hope you're doing well. So question one, I kind of split up into two separate things. So I have minstrel shows and folk tales in one and storytelling and folklore in another. So um, minstrel shows and folk tales specifically, I depicted as um, like false depictions of African-American um, and like their lives. So through the use of um, blackface by mainly Caucasian people, but in some cases, black people, um, to play these characters, these sometimes Sambo characters to make um, black people look lazy, to make them look ignorant, to make them seem uneducated and in some like criminals, pretty much. Um, the, and they're like, they're, these are oral traditions, right? Like they're, they are playing these characters um, to use against black people for the purpose of humor. So that relates to the superiority complex where white people think that they're superior um, compared to black people. So that's why they find it funny saying, you know, you're lower than us. So we're going to make fun of you because we can't because we're better than you. Um, so that's I feel like that's how they used um, humor, especially in minstrel shows and in some instances, folk tales. Um, and you can see this in folk tales specifically in um, older cartoons. Um, some Looney Tunes episodes back in the day that are now canceled um, are depict, you know, little black children and, you know, they're doing horrific things to these kids. So, I mean, and there's also children's books where these little African-American children are being eaten by alligators and these black people are being depicted as savages and, you know, um, going after these these white people. And it's, it's, it's just awful. So that, that's like the negative side, lighter side, storytelling and folklore. Um, I said, we're a more positive connotation because it was more historical. It was more inside of the African-American community. Um, like stories that were passed down jokes that were, um, kept inside of the community, you know, joking about the master, things like that, um, were more storytelling and folklore-ish, um, but then you also have heroes um, in the community like John Henry that, you know, there it's something to rally behind and something that is, it, it, it's the good that's out of the, the big bad. Um, and I think these, these help to give a more realistic viewpoint into the lives of blacks and their oppression that they faced, um, which I'll go more into detail later. Um, so question two and question four, I grouped together a little bit. So, um, the impact on black life and culture, as well as the function of the humor, um, I kind of group into one. So obviously I personally believe the function mainly during the time African-American humor was as a coping mechanism. Um, you know, they have a lot of bad in their life, especially during this time where they're just so oppressed. And again, you have that superiority complex that they, you know, they are treated this poorly, that humor is an outlet. Humor is an outlet, one, to rally behind, two, to make yourself feel better, and three, it's something that everyone can understand um, if you're inside the inside joke. So it, it's, a, it's an easy way to connect with other people and to um, empathize with each other. Um, it really just was used as a small bit of light in this world of darkness that they faced. Um, so that's how I felt like it functioned. And it really had an impact on African-Americans. You know, it was a really, it was a good thing that they themselves had. So question three, um, the impact of these traditions on America as a whole, um, more in a modern context is where I kind of want to go with this. So on America as a whole, especially looking back on it, um, you know, as a straight white male, um, you know, it's something to learn from. And I think there's a lot to take away from it um, to, to be able to look back and see the good and the bad, seeing the minstrel shows, the blackface, but then also seeing the good that, you know, the, hi the history. Um, it's, it's good to be able to understand and, you know, I can't empathize, but I can sympathize. And I think that's really important to um, understanding and, you know, 
wanting to learn more about about how they were oppressed and how that made them feel and you know especially in this class how they used humor to you know deal with these instances and to use it to come together and get past all these problems of injustice and oppression i think it's just really fascinating and it's an important aspect of especially american history because they were so predominant and they they are predominant um today so i think it's just a really it's a really good thing um to learn I think everyone should at least try to understand where they're coming from and, you know, why. And, you know, we still see things today like um, Aunt Jemima on the syrup bottle that, you know, are a little dicey. And especially in today's society, everything is, you know, cancel culture. Um, so it's very, very, everything is hypersensitive um, right now. But nonetheless, um, I still just think it's a really good um, reason to try and understand um, different perspectives. So thank you.